This is how your engine high resolution will arrive. Cut the tape to open the top of the box. Carefully lift the protective foam out, shaking it to free it from the printer if needed. Two people should lift the printer up, one grabbing the spine and rear base, like the gray shirt, the other the front base, like the green shirt, and rotate it, placing it on the work surface. Lift and cut away the cling wrap and remove it from the printer. Carefully snip off the cable tie from the tablet connectors with pliers. Later models might have the cables on the right side instead. Lift off the protective tape Careful not to damage the cables. Next, plug in the cables for power and communication. Set the tablet in the cradle. Plug the printer into the power outlet and power up the tablet by holding in the power button for a few seconds. Launch Repetrel and see if it automatically connects. You may have to change the COM ports to connect via UART. Always use the UART port. In the message log and at the top of the Repetrail program, you should see UART in the connection info. Under the control tab, go to the CNC M7M8 side tab and press the Z home button. You should see the yoke move up to home, then down and back up again. Next, press the Y home, then the X home button. You should see the bed move back to home, then pop forward and back again, and then move to the right, and then pop left and go right again. Then press the Park XY button to move the bed to the center of travel. Now load your head, lining up the gib in the slot and pushing all the way down. When seated, the LEDs on the head will light up, and Repetrel will show the head on the Control Heads 1-5 through five tab. Your EHR is now ready for operation. Remember to lock the head in with the thumb screw. If you want, you can stick on the end. For more information, visit us at highrail3d.com, highrail3d.net, or call us at 404-914-1748.